Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. Welcome back to Love of Games. We are going to continue our journey with The Devil in Me, the Dark Pictures series game. We're about to shimmy through a hole. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section. We're going to make our way through and hopefully we'll keep our characters alive. We got five of them. We are completely playing into the web and mess what this Triple H wannabe is creating. Instead of actually trying to save our lives, it seems like we are just playing to whatever he wants. But like I said, we'll figure out what we can do. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Time to shimmy. How'd you beat me in here? I was in the front of the pack. And she's back there. Seems like the best time to take a poo. See how they're doing this to the walls? This is what you should do into every room so that there is no block battle. Did I miss something? Tell me to look around. Go out the way. Now there's some blood. There must be something useful around here. Is that your way of saying I've missed something? Columbus Bar. This is Laura at reception. What the hell? The Columbus Spa is now open for guests. We treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art. Same. Bitch. He's watching us. Well, yeah, he is. Your spider's in his web. Or insects in his web, I should say. <sighs> You're his prey. Jesse Clark. This Light Foreman. Is that a secret? Um, secret. Durban tape. Beast behind bars. Postcard, retiring at home, newspaper clipping, the tape, amendment to the will, crime scene. So it wasn't a secret. I think it wants us to go down there. But before we go over there, I want to look over here. That door just opened. Won't let me go any further. Not 
point just standing around. I don't want to jump just yet. Now I'm actually curious what's down there. I do think y'all all need to stick together way closer. But I do think that he's gonna separate you and kill you. Jimmy? Keep looking around. Dude. Uh, Kate better not come through here and block me in here. I just thought about that because that is a very tight Those are steps going out She's over there. There must be something useful around here. Email mannequin. That's a locked door. Yeah, I ain't gonna trust that. Oh, well, that for sure is the way to go because there's arrows. See that? The lobby side? Where do you think that leads? Dude, you would have spent so much money trying to repair this. The mold. This way? Not allowing me to do much. Can't really look around. All right. Whoa. To all staff. 19 April 1934, boiler room ceiling collapsed. Dear, please note, due to the ingress of water from the laundry room, the ceiling from the boiler room has collapsed, causing significant damage to the plant machinery and water supply. In the circumstances, we've taken a difficult decision to close the spa with immediate effect until repair can be made, which may be some months. All your guests are being notified and asked to vacate the rooms by this evening. Structural repairs three hundred fifty thousand. Boiler repair one hundred fifty thousand. Decorate eighty thousand. We can't afford this. Well, I mean, if you're gonna play that, somebody's like watching us. Shammy? No, 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 shammy. Probably could bust out the window with any of the debris. Where are you that you just did that?
I see him, I don't see her. Bust out the window up top. Mark, give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. It's literally a glass pane door. You could bust through the glass. Looks like the glass is already broken. I knew he'd want to separate us at some point. It looks like I could jump this. Hey, I found a business card. Rantham Dumet Builder. Three out of five. <laughs> Hydrotherapy. There's a bird. But he's right there. I look again. He's down here with us. You're going that way. There's clearly a door there. We got too many areas we could divide off down here. I'm hoping not to get locked into a room. General Contractor KD. Yes, yeah, I quit with immediate effect. By the time you read this, I will have already left the island. Don't come looking for me. I quit. I'm done. Monica. Laura Murphy, senior electrician. So a stab wound to the chest. Is there anything else over here? Don't see anything else. Alright, you're over here. Yeah, we could go that way. I'd rather look at this room first. Got somebody hanging. Is 
But whatever these things are, that's worth a lot. This is Frank. Frank called something. Frank called a man. Number 10. Tenth victim? Maybe? Laura was number 7. Why do you put away your flashlight? So she was another victim. Locked and blocked. I feel like our flashlight's getting weaker because it does not seem to be lighting up as much. I can't even make out what the fuck I'm looking at. Yeah, I guess jump down. Must be a way out. <laughs> that would take us back up. <sighs> There's gotta be a way through. Worth one. I'm like actually turned around. I guess this is where we go. There must be something useful around here. Why'd I jump back down? I'm trying to get over there. I'm literally... Oh, I'm on the other side. Keep looking around. Shimmy? Shimmy. Did you break in stuff even further? This kind of looks like a trap too. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit.
It's a very thin layer of plaster, brick. Some areas are concrete. Dude, it really would not take much to destroy walls and sections to get out. Huh. Yeah, maybe we should be looking up. Nine seconds? Are you in here with me? Dude, take the fuck. What is this? Is it some sort of message? He's trying to scare us. Tell us something. Big button? Every key comes with a price, it seems. Spa Master. You don't want to lose your master key either. So we did need the key. I tried to figure out ways where we could actually see more going on before it locks us down a path. That goes over there. Worth five. The room right off reception. Mark, here. Did not Let's mean to click it yet. That sucks. Hello? Mark? Jamie? Here. Okay. We're okay. Literally a door with a window. You can see okay. us. Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. It's Triple H. The game. Hear that? This way. You haven't figured out he's leading you where he wants you every time. Hey, we're at 181, so it did go up. The two people have died. It was at 179 when we started. Get 
away from me! It makes me think there's more than one killer now. Because he's maneuvered through here really quickly. He just went into a trap. Really? <laughs> oh, you ran into one too. This is gonna be what the mannequins were showing us. You choose one. Get me out of here. A or B. Hurry up. It's another trap. They're both locked. Shit. What was that? They're taking the air out of the room. I, I can't. Oh, I can't breathe. These windows are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give them air? No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Whoever we point this lever at. Is gonna die. What? Who do we want to survive? Cater Aaron. We can only save one. It's gonna be Cater Aaron. That is a good question. I actually think it'd be a perfect time to pause or stop the episode. So y'all could leave a comment in the section down below. You want Kate to survive or Aaron to survive? I am super curious what people would suggest. Personally, I've been liking Kate more. But Aaron is a cool person as well. Uh, other dude loves Kate. He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Jamie, please! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! Please help me! Who are we gonna kill? We have to choose. Now! We'll kill Kate. She loves Aaron. She's the one no. choosing. We had to what do something! You? They were both gonna die! <laughs> Jamie chose to save Aaron from a suffocation. It's locked in the place. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 okay. Window. Oh wait. There's a there's a leak. Back up, back up. Why would you use your arm when you got a room full of shit? You're literally injuring yourself. Kate's not going to be happy with Jamie. Kate, you okay? Yeah. Oop. 
She's okay. So do we know if Charlie actually died? What's happening? Dumet is playing a game. And it's no fucking joke. You okay? Just leave me alone. We just saved her. She should... Look, we have to get smart about this before one of us ends up dead like Charlie. Wait. Charlie's dead? Then he got what was coming to him. What? What the hell does that mean? When I was lost, I picked up a recording. It was Charlie talking to Dumet. He said he wanted us dead. He brought us here to kill us. No. There's just no way. I know what I heard. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day. But if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective. I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. You know he'd be listening to you. we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it's in good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. He's probably got it rigged with traps. Then we gotta be really fucking careful. It's our best shot. You're not that far offshore. No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Yeah, you gotta... Hear that? The walls are moving again. Okay, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! You guys are stupid. Kate? That was entirely your fault, Kate. No! Damn it! Uh. Wait, no, no, no! Again, I'm under the assumption you should start destroying the hotel. Ooh. That's some sort of chemical. Can I have control? Okay, I can now. There's definitely something here. Whether it's going to, I'm going to find it or not. Probably wanting us to go that way. Worth 10? Uh, what is it? No. That may be something. Wait a sec. Yeah, think of that. I'm sure I've missed so much crap with this dude. The 
I can know where it tells you like where to I feel like we're playing Phasmophobia over here with this. Yeah, there's a secret. That is paint thinner. That something? Why do you have a big deal of oil? That's locked. That's the door we came in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not taking my trigger. Oh shit. My mate has killed Mark. That sucks. Hope there's a way to save him. This house doesn't make sense for there to have only been one Yo, killer. I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. And you exactly are a lab rat here for their amusement. All right, 
right, so where do we start? I want to look around first to see if there's anything. Alright. This I can't remember whose room was 182. This is one of their rooms. Could be a room right here. That was uh Pete's room right there. That was one of their rooms. Tell the wall move there. Are you fucking kidding me? You took Aaron's chapstick from under the bed. Locked doors, so they're making you go through here. What the hell? Worth five. the hell did I get that? Oh, what the hell? Jesus, there's cameras everywhere. Can I? Okay.
Do they have like new latches? Oh, we haven't had one of these in a while. Okay, that ain't good. So Jamie could get crushed to death. Whose room is this? Is this Charlie's? cameras over here to be a killer you ever been to the art museum downtown they got this painting by a guy i forget his name famous painter he did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks you take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out you make it into a painting and suddenly it's art there's no difference between the two not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for relief. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it that's true art that's what you have to be an artist a sculptor an architect i see the gleam in your eye agent monday you're not fooling me ah <laughs> Look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then, huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. Potential Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. Damn. Okay. 
He already knows you're there because you screamed. At the exact same moment he took Mark and zip tied his neck, he was in there with Jamie. The timing doesn't make sense for one person. We got multiple ways we can go. No, no, we really only got one. Stay close to me. The room number. Dumb waiters there though. How does that work with the moving walls? Wait a sec. Cause there is a path over here. Or I thought there was a path. Did it already close? Never mind. Who says self-help books don't work? Charlie threw it down here earlier. Of course he did. It just shows you you should put something in front of every one of those things. prevent all the doors. I I don't think that's Jamie. There's two doors. Ahead. Can you hear me? None of the crew. I'm over there. Uh, in case you miss me, Michelle, morning, writing, a.m., request to use library or the music lounge so soon. I'm the one of those. Can we dine outside in the garden? The bar seems like a good writing spot. Dinner at 9 p.m. They can use their pencil to find out what was written on torn paper. How? Oh. Bare room code 1999. Make what that says. Manny Sherman, The Best of Arkansas by Joseph Morello. Wait, hey, look at this. What? It's a true crime book. Look at the author, Joseph Morello. So the guy on the ferry wasn't you met. Alright, but honestly, I'm glad to be leaving. They'd be nice fellows, the stewards, real nice. 
We're both in their 70s now. Dad still has us strong as an ox, having been a military man before moving to the town to settle and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell that she has taken it the hardest. Mrs. Stewart has made me coffee. She was functioning okay, but had a dead behind the eyes look, 26 years on. Still living in the cocoon of numbness such devastation can bring. We talked a lot. They were at ease talking about anything. The night it had happened, the cruel details, how they felt about him. It was a fact of life to them. Their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer. And that was their world. It sounds really mean. Maybe use kinder words. I don't like the cocoon sentence. Is there more relatable metaphor? Everything? It was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. I was apprehensive but thankful and agreed. It had been helpful to get the idea of what kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll that the murder has taken as we walked through the house and the upstairs to Mary's room. Her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy but shabby. We walked over a beaten old carpet past the outdated wallpaper paintings, mostly biblical, that were thick with dust. The stain of and financial impact must have been huge. Mrs. Stewart hadn't worked since Mary's death. Again, that sounds really mean. Can you not just say that they've had a rough time without it being so descriptive? Maybe explain why. Did she find it difficult to face anyone? Christine Her schoolwork had stacked by the bed. Her childhood toys and dolls were still on display on the shelves. What stuck out most, though, was her uniform, still hanging on the front of the wardrobe, ready for her shift at the diner the next day. Mary was a tiny girl, only 5'1", and weighed less than 100 pounds. She didn't stand a chance that night she was taken. I kept thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Millenwood had been an unremarkable place in 1995, but it was close to lifeless now. Mostly boarded up buildings. The only sh only open shops were liquor stores, which the bums outside them drinking at 11 a.m. As if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Millen faded in my rearview mirror as the image of Mary's uniform burned into my mind. Go hug Natalie right now, please. Later the next day, I finally got back to her house, scrambling over a package set on her doorstep. A brown box. I had no idea who it was from, but Michelle ordered something. Curiosity took over and I hauled it inside, opening it and I found an old tape recorder along with a quatrette of tapes. I listened to the first one, the voice, it was unmistakable, it was Sherman, nope. Mentioned their interviews? Oop, went the wrong way. Is that it? I guess so. That dude was Morello. Can you move out the way, please? Can you move out the way? Can you move out of the way? All right, that's a creepy looking doll. I don't like dolls. Was that in the sign in book? Coming from through here. Connie, a dog. Connie. Kate found a dog ball with the name Connie. Shh. Please stop crying, Please mommy. Stop crying, mommy. So where's daddy? That's a question we all have. All of us with no fathers. Beast body burglar. Arkansas this week. The body of the so-called beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by the suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer whose real name is Manny Sherman was executed earlier this month. His remains were buried at an undisclosed cemetery in Springsdale, Arkansas. A senior police spokesman for the local law enforcement stated at the press conference, We believe this to be the work of a serial killer's obsessive, obsessives and are pursuing various leads. 
We already assumed multiple suspects involved, but have not ruled out that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors that have been circulating that the serial killer's enthusiast forms online since Sherman's execution. When questioned by the press about such online groups, the spokesperson added, These people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. They were aware of the despicable details of such crimes as we in law enforcement are. They would rethink their views about celebrating the hideous criminals. Please refuse to confirm the name of the cemetery of the media and the news aftermath of the news. Right? Anything else? Creepy looking photo. I think that may be it. Premonition time. So it's Jamie getting attacked. It looks like Kate walked up on it. That's creepy. An animatronic for the woman, real party, parts have been used in this construction. The woman from the vacation photo, the woman Michelle Morel, she was murdered by Demet. So we are getting more of the story. No witnesses. Charlie is alive. <coughs> Damn. Dude, you barely survived the Verna. Any tools, anything we can have in here? He locked us back in here again. I do feel like he knows that we're alive.
Wait a sec, we can move this. That's clearly where we need to go. That was that. Nope, nope, not going over there yet because this looks like something I'd get locked into. Can I not crouch? There we go. FIP, or FBI. FIP. That looks like some I'll get locked into, too. Crap. Decisions. Go with our first one. Hundred percent feel this is a trap again. Worth one. I guess it's worth five. I'm about this doesn't look right. This is like a conveyor belt. Shop. It is dark as fudge in here. He didn't know we were alive before, he's going to now. There we go. Fine! Please! I'll do anything! Three buttons. Howdy y'all, this is your host Rogue. Welcome back to Lovely Games. We are playing a little Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me, today. We are currently playing as Charlie, down in the workshop. And, uh, in our last episode, Mark got captured. Wasn't trying to. Uh, didn't hide quick enough. Mark got captured, and his neck, uh, zip-tied to something. Don't know if he's alive. Found out Charlie was alive. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to see what we can do. And uh, hopefully save everybody. Don't know if we can. We're going to try. So. Don't know which one it needs to be. Never 
hurt anyone. <laughs> Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. That's locked. That's what we turned on. Premonition? Jaw, fingernails, keep loose pins. Please study in how to take apart the human body. Waste disposal, do not climb on, 2,000 PSI, 150 tons. Riding on the conveyor at any time can cause serious injuries, entanglement hazard. Switch off and lock out, stay clear of the moving veil. Warning, yeah. This was blocked off before. Federal Bureau of Investigation Department of Justice. There literally was something blocking this jacket before. We couldn't get to it. But something happened. Something changed. Still all smoky in there. That's still locked. That's still locked. We're looking down the conveyor belt. Man, it's gonna have me right in. He's gonna get hurt or die. Working in warehouse environments, normally if you hit something like that to turn it on, there will be some sort of alarm notifying everyone that you turned it on. Okay, there's probably going to be a QTE with this. The luggage.
Come on, Charlie. You gotta do this. You don't want to die. Killer keeping a memento. You think he'd question why the machine is on when it should be off. The lights are on. I feel bad because I think we got Mark killed. Shit! It's me! Get in here! Jamie? <sighs> Thank God. Well, if they didn't know you were together before, they do now. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Or his second, or Mark. third, or fourth, or no. fifth. I've seen Demet, though. He's creeping around. You guys better go. Jesus. What is all of this? You made He's it to the center of the web. Recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. It's like a nerve center for the whole building. It's a director's suite. Maybe we could use it to find a way out. Look for something to unlock the outer doors. This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Investigate the control this, room. This is a lot. This is top end gear. I mean, I know he's rich, but you could launch a rocket from in here. No, you couldn't. These are standard servers with hot swap hard drive parts. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. Subject my order. What do you think it is? I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. From Am he's in full control of what he's doing. Amber Harris to Brandon Day. Thank you, Brandon. I've Instructed to keep our like the rest of us. maker What's to proceed. We'll keep you updated on the progress, photographs, these shades. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. It's planned. Premeditated. As previously discussed, we'll keep Wait, the... He's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does Did his mommy not hug him enough? You gonna quit talking for a second? All right, as previously discussed. Good morning, Amber. Parenting can definitely be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure really. Good morning, Amber. Thank you for your reply and putting my mind at rest. Don't you read any of our research? Mm -hmm. Yes, the cost is perfectly nice. fine. Please go ahead. Reminder: you should remain confidential. Morning, Brandon. I can assure you that all our custom masks like are very robust. Profile. They're used for a long time oh, running theater production, filming, intense action centers. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever 
or a cipher. Nothing between. They are often for long-running theater productions, filming intense like action scenes. in a position of power, especially over women. But why this? Why us? Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. The material used for your mask is a plastic resin-coated wood, which How provides build all this? a tough end strength that is highly durable. Total cost will be 1800 Can we taxes. find a way out? Can you let me? Can, open those shutters in the lobby. can you let me know if this is acceptable? We'll instruct our mask maker to proceed. Chicago Police. Chicago Police, Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, oh, Interesting. No witnesses. Can I uh, control these cameras? Everything's carefully marked and dictated. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. if I could see anything on any of these cameras. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. Why would he do that? To scare us. To get us in the mood for his fun and games. Nice. It's about time we go into a section. Dude, it would not be hard to troubleshoot this, figure out what's what, and uh, cut some lines. Wait, I could go down or up. This is the highest level. Oh shit. I did not mean to do that. Over here. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Jamie's right. Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. So how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, 
No way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No. No, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, I'm not super into doing it. But I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances here. I really wish I didn't click it. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. Jamie, no. Let's find another way. You don't have to do this. Eight would be the best One bait. Of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. So there's a screwdriver. Do we give it or do we keep it? Ah. I think we're going to give her the screwdriver. You could use that as a weapon if need be. No, no. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Please come back. That's my plan. Yet. I meant for her to give it to Kate because I thought Kate could use it. Hmm. That did not go how I wanted it to go. Alright. Kate should be the one running out because Jamie is the tech person. Aaron has uh, asthma. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Be careful, please. I'm on it. You'll be careful? If I see Demet, he'll wish I hadn't. Don't. Be serious, please. Just tell me you'll be careful. Tell me I'll see you again. Aaron, I promise. You'll see me again. Good, because I think I, I, think I love you. No, that's or extreme. I, I mean... Well, now I have to come back. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> I wish I would have had a chance to actually look at that map. And look around more. Worth two. Head down the hall. Keep to the right. You literally have a light going through the photo. I think that was a failure on the developer's part. Was this on the map? Things have been modified. That was not something they planned for. That's not good. I may just kill Jamie. Yet. She's my favorite so far.
quickly look, see anything. No. All right, progress. Shimmy, shimmy. Oh, I don't want to have to kill my favorite. This sucks. Trying to keep her alive. This one's gold. Looks like tin. Well, that sucked. Did he just walked to the left. That was the first time we've seen him rush. He's always been slow and methodical. We know he's back there. That does not give me a good idea. That shows that he could go through. The mark may be alive, possibly. Choked out, but. You gotta quit screaming because you're you draw attention to you. I don't think this is gonna go well. Oh no. Shit. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, he was running in the last one. There's no way he would have caught up to you walking as fast as he was. There's a hole in the wall there, I think. I think that's where the hole was. He doesn't want the game to end that quickly. Oh my god! He's still leading you down the trap he wants. <gasps> and he's separated you. Shoot. Oh no. Not again. Jamie. Jamie. Shit. What is it? A button. 
There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what, what does it? Shit, no! Jamie has a screwdriver. Move! Move! Ah. Ah. Jamie! Uh, Kay, I think, I think if I hit this thing, the wall will go the other way. Towards me, you mean? Yeah, this thing will kill me if I don't press it. Wait! I know, if I do press it, then you're the one that dies. Goddamn Dumet! This is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't play this game. Fuck this. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. I'm not gonna. my favorite. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. But that's the way I've been wanting them to do it from the beginning. Don't play the, his game. Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Not truly. Perhaps you'd like another. Well, yes. Have you read The Valley of Fear? I have Last not. Of the Sherlock Holmes novels and one of the best. Let's see. The temptation to form premature theories upon insufficient data is the bane of our profession. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. He lived. Oh, oh, that motherfucker. Sweet. Well, I'm glad because she was my favorite. Come on. I owe you. I am happy she lived because she was my favorite. It's my favorite. Come on. Aaron, what happened to you guys? We're both alive. That's all that matters. There he is! Ah! Can't believe we got him caught. I feel bad. He was one of my, he was probably my second favorite. But he was zip tied around the neck, not around his hands.
like your cam motor is busted. That sucks. Charlie's without his lighter, he's without his camera. You're outside, raining. Uh, Seems like every room in this murder this castle has more than one area, a way to get in. Separated again. Get down there. No, I can't leave you. Just go. Get away from me. You just kick off his mask. If I didn't take this stone with me, would I not have the breathe ability? Come on, you can do this, Kate. Dude, there's a lot of breathing prompts. I feel like if you run, you're not going to survive. <laughs> oh well, I guess I fucked up. At this point, yeah. You ain't hiding. He's gonna get you otherwise. Oh, 
Oh, we missed. Oh. Well. my favorite. Aaron should uh kill the dude while she's there. Come on. What do we do? Kill the dude. We have to go. There's nothing we can do. She's gone. You could literally kill the dude and end this madness right there. Should have killed him, he was down. You left a witness. Come on, don't stop. You're running into a maze. I feel like Kate would have died there. Shit. If Jamie didn't save her. I think he just locked you in. Aaron, you okay? I got lucky. Well, that would ruin your picture right there. Oh, that sucks. I'm pissed that we killed off our favorite. Oh, there's something here. There was something here. I saw it. If it weren't for that barbed wire, we could just climb out. Looks like you need to go out right there. You totally could just go out right there. Broken pot. I 
see if we can hear any of it. I guess this maze was a cute garden feature, once. There's an entrance that way. So there's an entrance that way. Entrance that way. This should not be an lead anywhere. A dead end. Great. Just great. We're dead. We're so dead. Dude, move out the way. That is not where we were. Where are we? got me. So right now. We came in from there. There's a path over there. Path, path. And the path. This is freaking me out. Freaking music gets you. So oh, that's creepy. I feel like we should have went the other way. Yeah. We're backtrack. Wait. Don't tell me we're lost now. We're gonna backtrack. Yeah, we would have missed out on a coin worth five. Y'all should pick up, like, something to use as a weapon. I'm 
There's a letter over there shining on the ground. Listen, there's something I noticed about Jumet. What? Okay, listen, when I was a kid, I didn't speak much. No kidding. No, I mean, like, at all. They called it selectively mute. Like, I could talk, but I chose not to. And what's that got to do with Dumet? We've never heard his voice. So... One of the things they said about it, the psychologists, was that I was hiding. That I was scared that if I spoke, I would give away my identity. That's the same as Dumet. Same reason he wears a mask. No, it's more than that. There's a conflict in his identity. He doesn't even know who he is. It's like he's caught between being two people. Or he's trying to separate the killer from the regular guy he is the rest of the time. Maybe. I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not for your son. Besides, it's your ex-wife's ex responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Oh, I don't know. I think maybe I'm just depressed already because of this trip. Not what I had in mind when you said you were taking me to a secret island. I don't care if he's Harrison Lee, the famous horror fiction writer. You only work for him, you don't have to go on vacation with him, too. Can you spend some time with the two of us, Cecil? Dear Kurt, I thought it would be easier to write this down because I got upset when I tried to talk to you about it. I'm in distress. You know I don't get along with Thomas. I don't get why we have to take him with us, or take him everywhere with us. But you're on a mission, he's a fucking nightmare. And it's getting down, having him around all the time. Okay. The so Jamie's dead dead. There's no doubts about that. FBI badge. Bloodstained Chicago Police badge. Brandon Day. So that may be the guy. That could be who this is. It could be Brandon Day. This, this is where we were. Were. This, I was confused when we looked at the map because I thought it was showing us at the, at this, but no. Why can't I go up? Can I not go up? I have no idea if I went the right way or not. I have a feeling that should be off, though. Oh, uh... Weapon? We got to find an electrical box somewhere. Electrical box is not over here, is it?
it's crazy we haven't ran into Demet yet. When he's in this maze with us. You coming, Kate? Or you gonna stay up there? Newspaper, holy shoe shine killer Good killed. Good morning, Chicago. We begin today with some breaking news. Chicago police today confirmed the body of a man found in a fire at an abandoned warehouse in the Fulton River District to be that of missing FBI agent Hector Monday. Monday has been identified as the shoe shine killer whose recent killing spree struck fear into the hearts of locals in and around Chicago. A spokesperson for Chicago PD confirmed Monday murdered four victims, including yesterday evening police officer Patrick Stanley, a dedicated veteran of 22 years. The fire was brought under control shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. The body recovered at the scene was burnt beyond recognition, but police identified Monday from dental records. Dang. Why is Kate not joining us? Five. There's literally nothing else in here. I really thought there would have been more to this. Alright. No idea why we're split up again. Where'd she come from? She wasn't with me. You're going that way. I'm more curious what is over here. Kurt Hall. And I...
get a sundial. Locked door. You got the killer who's right freaking there. Or their statues. Fuck, ah! oh, dude. Run! Shit got me. He just gave him a weapon. Run. Run. Barricade ain't gonna do nothing. He's got an axe. You should have been further. Rotted wood and he's got an axe. Like No. No, please. Please, please don't. Your camera was busted, so how do you have a camera now? We didn't go back and pick it up. Can I jump down there? I just turned on. Can't even see what that says. I think it says notice. I have no idea what I'm even looking at. Can I jump down into the pool? And over here. You have no head. Or hand. Jesus. Did 
the changing room. Why does it do that? I wasn't meaning to open it yet. Oh God. What happened here? What's that? Again, Dumat can't be, or Dumont can't be in all these places at once. Harrison and Lewis Lee. Something over there. What the hell? What? I mean, it's bloody, but half the stuff in this is. That's going to take me forward. I 
want to go that way just yet because I must. That was a door opening, 100%. Fuck you, man. Get more bits. Why is that now aimed here? It was not aimed here when I walked through a second ago. Oh, there's, I would have missed that. Well, that would suck. We're missing what two two Charlie, the hotel ground. So everyone's outside. I honestly find it better to be out of the murder castle than in. Can't see what we're. Oh, a coin. Oh, I would have missed that. I don't know if I need to go up or go this way. That that's closed off. I could use that. Why can we see your teeth? I don't want to climb, I want to push, I think. Or can I pull? Push. Um, where am I pushing this to, though? There's barbed wire everywhere but this side.
You could totally climb that. I guess over there to where the barbed wires cut the. It looks like we're putting him into the maze. Dude, talk about a creepy place. We got two ways we could go. We go left or we go right. Um. Well, I guess we have one way to go because there's no way you're going that way. That looked like a freaking wolf. That item. Worth five. We are being surrounded. We are not alone. No entry. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a dog. Well, everyone knows where you're at now, Charlie. So Charlie, I think, has the big, biggest bullseye on him currently now. There are so many different ways to go. How is there absolutely nothing over here?
Yes, yeah, so we got the high ground. Everyone knows where we are. Whoa, ho ho ho, yeah, no one, uh, jumping down an elevator shaft. Maybe I hit the button first. What's it doing? Oh, don't get yourself killed, Charlie. Don't get yourself killed. You're like my third favorite. Or fourth. I don't know. Make it out here. Yeah, good to see you too, mate. I nearly got fried, you know. I know. We saw it. You saw it? What the hell does that mean? How exactly do you get out of that? Where are the others? Mark was suspicious of Charlie, wanted to know how he survived the furnace. Mark, are they, are they safe? We were all separated trying to get out. Dumet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Dumet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <sighs> I never thought I'd say this again. Sweet. Can I not walk further? Okay, I guess not. Oh, did you shimmy? You shimmied. Jesus. I just like saying shimmy. You're, I mean, you are a distance from land, but that is swimmable if you are a swimmer. Or you can makeshift yourself a little raft. Oh, we could go up. the busted window there. Watch us be locked. I need to find a way out. I'll just put it forward right now. If you're at a door with a glass window and you're being hunted by a killer, Break the freaking glass window. Oh, you're gonna make the killer have to pay to replace a window pane when he hasn't replaced any of the others? Or some of them have the glass window completely busted already. Huh. 
I could have just killed that dude. You gonna cross? I can't see shit in here. What's our next premonition? Astronauts? Oh, that must be the next game. Medical history. Patient's name, Hector Monday Whalen. Physician, Charlie Brown. I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office today. He is accompanied by his mother who informed me that Hector is complaining of feeling sick and very tired. Upon examining Hector, he appears to be mildly under nutrition. He is underweight and very pale skin. His mother also prescribed two milligrams of diazepam tablets to be taken but three times daily when required. I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office today. The follow-up on recent hospital admission for acute bronchitis, Hector had collapsed during school lessons. Hector is recovering well from the virus in two weeks since the hospital admission. It was likely caused by mixing with other children in school while his immune system was weakened by malnutrition. When examining Hector's chest, I discovered bruising on his underarm shoulders caused by rough play at school. Hector is advised to avoid such activity. Mother advised to refrain from smoking around Hector, especially while he's recovering. I will arrange follow-up appointment in one week. This, uh, I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office day. At my request, Hector was almost fully recovered from bronchitis. Bruising has worsened, caused by significant force. More likely, an adult with school friends arranged to follow up in one week. I saw Hector, seven-year-old male, in my office day. At my request, he was accompanied by his grandmother. George, by his great oh grandfather George, Hector's original bruising had subsided. Grandfather advised that I examine Hector's legs. Ankles were swollen with cuts as if he had been restrained. Grandfather suspect Hector's mother isn't coping and arranged fall up with Hector's mother. That all is up here. You know, key. Can I jump down? Can I jump down? No. Good. Cross. There we go. That was the first thing I've seen for anything potentially for a new game. So I'm glad to see that they are they do have plans. Now that's a hole. Whoa. 
What is that smell? Rid of my eyes. Ugh. Mold. Rotting flesh by the looks of it. Yeah, I did too. Just get the shit out. You scared him off by panicking, most likely. That's when he was still there. Can I not get stuck on random things? How's your head? Two victims discover with their heads switched. Alright, another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse in the outskirts of Dalton, Georgia. The two victims are believed to be the latest of the homicidal murdering spree of the imaginary killer, along with the two victims. FBI agent Monday reportedly counted multiple repurposed body parts of the crime scene that appear to be past victims. Monday described the uh, macabre animatronics covered as deranged creations that are insult to the victim's humanity. DNA is yet to confirm if they are in fact the missing body parts of the previous victims. Maybe turn out your lights. Again, maybe turn out your lights. Yeah, he hundred percent sees you. Dumbass. You're in an almost pitch black room with a light. Oh, Charlie. No, not wanting to see that again. No. out that way. Don't get out this way. Don't get out this way. Oh my god. What? What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. 
for why? Because they're valuable to him. The trophies. Keep sex. Dude, the smell in here. Too much sure seems to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Tending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven, very disturbed man. Yeah, I'm questioning whether it's one person too, because it the timing does not work out. The fixation section, removal of body fat, impregnation, positioning, hearing. Lee Harrison. Subject dead by asphyxiation. Subject wash, freezing, not required as for mild high solution is prepared. Moving to curing has to preserve. Immense preservation. Early decomposition has not been shown. Various deterioration visible specimen by animatronic integration. Formaldehyde fixation solution introduced to subject's cardiovascular system. Fixation solution process complete. Subject added to acetone bath, re-examination 24 hours. No issues found with the subject in acetone. No signs of rigidity as of yet re-examined in 48 hours. Good progress. Signs of rigidity in extremities. Previous subject, Mr. Lewis Harrison, required disposal in acid bath. Rigor mortis reached skin, causing severe blistering and resulting in unviable specimen. Possibility due to subject smaller structure exhibiting decomposition 185 pounds versus 142 delay in fixation commencement were for mild high as level estimate too low continue positive progress extremities fully hardened extending into stiffness of limbs re-examining in one week limbs 50 percent hardened acetone drained and replaced re-examined in 24 hours no issues with new acetone replacement re-examined in one week You're destined to be an animatronic. He's harvesting the organs too. He that could be how he's paying for everything. Oh crap. The feeling that's gonna trigger something. Obvious door. You joking? Looks precarious. Martinez, back up on its way. Hold your position. Copy that. 
shit. He's seen me. Officer Martinez, hold your position. No! Uh, uh, shit. We have a situation. Dispatch, the building's on fire. Fire department on their way. He's still in there. You read me? Copy. He's still in there. Is he hiding his face as he's detected Monday and he got stuck in a fire? But Monday was supposedly died. Or am I... There is a path. Need to find a way out. We can go through here. Help me up. Um, oh, I didn't even see this. I can either go up over here, look in, probably where we're supposed to go. There's multiple paths. Well, dang. Hopefully you find something good in there. Oh, a coin. Worth. Looks like ten. Dang, dude. There's eight just right around here. Nine, ten, eleven. Dude, that's going to make so much noise coming down. Like, that is going to notify everybody. All right. Hope this holds. You gotta, you gotta go. Yeah, there's no denying uh, Triple H that we came this way with the sound of that crashing through. I'd said whoever's lightest first. Come on. 
You got this. Hey, there's the lighthouse. Eight forest path. So we still got our light. Like I'm hearing other stuff moving around out here. I can't tell how much that was. I guess it was five. Before we go that way. like going up is where we need to go. I want to explore to see if there's any secrets. Because there's a lot more to the story than what we are seeing so far. I understand Dumont getting around really quick like, quick in the house. I don't understand how he gets around really quick outside. Because there's not a lot out here. Horn pant leg. Can I not, can I not look at it more? Come on. There it goes. Is that a pant leg or a skirt? Nothing just got in the water. Dude, I'm hearing shit all around me. There's still that, like, dog out here somewhere. I found a card. Class C, not the license. Francis Morello. The Inferno. 
Thanks for the day out, Uncle Francis. Alright, now I'm confounded because I feel like if this was just a one off, we wouldn't be able to go as far as we did. I think I just saw something. I thought I just saw something walk by. Alright, maybe we should continue going the correct direction. I thought I saw a shadow move. Could be wrong. That leads us to the house. Where does this take us? I like that the music changed. Well, that leads us right. Okay, yeah, I actually think that'll probably be where we need to go. I don't want to quite go there just yet. Let's go to this little house looking thing. How many is it? Five? Time to shimmy. I think you're gonna end up in this cold ass water. This does not look steady. So you're going to an island in an island. Talk about Inception over here. Can I move? I want to look around it before I go do it. I don't see it. That's it right there. There's a key. Shed. Can't climb up on the roof. body of a man found inside the shed. His right hand has been severed. He appears to have died bleeding from his injury. The dead man was Francis Morello. His photo is on the driver's side. Alright. Theme park photo. Driver's license. So that was uh, the murder writer's brother. The, his wife and brother did not make it out alive. Just him and his daughter. Hmm. 
I'm actually really surprised we haven't ran into Aaron. And I'm really surprised you're not covered in mud, because you've been crawling around and jumping with this shit, and you butt skidded down the whole thing. And you come off clean as can be. Even your white tennis shoes. It was raining. Those are bigger than a standard uh, oil barrel. Gives me little hope vibes. And the quarry vibes right here. There's a mouse. You're a dog. Don't be a hurt dog. You would not have been able to maneuver that fast Easy. with that axe. Dude, don't you dare hurt the dog. Why is there a second one right there? hurting the dog no no I am not gonna hurt the dog there's no way now I have many dogs I'm not gonna hurt a dog I'm upset that they even gave that as an option. I have a Staffordshire Terrier named Zelda. Is my little pity. I can't imagine anything happening to her. Need a hand? Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron! Holy shit! You're okay. Erin. I'm so glad you're okay. Give me a hand. You're fine. Worst case, 
Jamie, have you seen them? Do you know where they are? Kate and I got separated in the woods. Jamie... Jamie didn't... She's dead. What? Jamie's dead. You're sure? Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. I didn't think... Erin... Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. I found a way in. Come on. We have to keep going, guys. Amazing. Well done, Erin. You're not coming with us. What? Are you... I heard your call with Dumet. You set this all up. You set us up to die. Erin, you are out of your mind. I would never... You know you can trust me. 70% of murderers kill somebody they know. Somebody who trusts them. It's 79%. But I am not a murderer. We're dead in the water. And I can't think of a bigger cell than a dock crew recording their own murders while on assignment. Do you hear what you're saying? That is insane. You're in shock and you're not thinking straight. I would never... Mark, we need to tie him up until help gets here. He'll either stab us in the back or get Dumet to do it. Erin, I would... Quiet! Erin, whoa. I've worked with Charlie for a long time. He's selfish control freak who'd fuck any of us over if he had to, but he's not a mer... Hmm. So, him and Erin don't get along very well. Get along better than him and Charlie. I know what I heard. I believe you. But maybe that's what you were supposed to hear. Look, I'll watch him. I promise. You're both fucking mad. I don't think Charlie has anything to do with that. They tried to make him a toasty marshmallow. <laughs> after being the mentally fucked bus driver in Little Hope. Let's figure out how to get this thing working. Okay, I could definitely use the light in here. Does not have to be so zipped. No, I'm trying to take his picture. It is dark as fuck it. Oh, well, this is going to be an area we get locked in, I bet. Can I have, like, seen from his eyes or something instead of his jacket? Evidence, address, Chicago PD, 1612 West State Street. Evidence, we on recovery day. 
zero six hundred hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at sixteen twelve West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Can I continue to look at it? Dang. Don't care about this side. So we got Graham Dumont. Bell Camp, those are two names we know. None of the other ones stick out. Oh, Brandon Day and Leonard Kemp, I think, are both familiar ones, too. So they all worked with Monday. We're not leaving the room yet. Found another card. I can't walk that little bit. I never said any of that shit. I'm such an idiot. I wanted this to work so much, I just accepted everything you said. It's been edited. I'm such an idiot. Jesus. I'm a sound tech and I fell for it. You're in shock. All of us are. Don't beat yourself up. So? Erin? I'm sorry, Charlie. Silver Spring University Science and Medicine. Hector Waylon Monday. Bachelor's of Science in Psychology, 1988. Did that say birth certificate? That ain't no birth certificate. That's a diploma. I know, I got like 11 of them. Last wait, can I flip those over? It's I can pull it. No, I can't flip that. All right. Hey, even. Like the freaking camera is so zoomed in. Either let me look through his eyes in first. Yeah, I know I saw something with that shadow. Either let me look through his eyes in first person or zoom me out far enough to actually be able to see what's what. Boat. 
Looks like there may be another boat on the island. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. So we can either go up or we could go in. The fuck? Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news you, since you haven't seen me in six months. You have a son, I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need to come back here, I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please, El Monday. There's some. What's on jump out of us? Son of a bitch! Give me a dog any day. Mark, what the hell was that? You alright? Yeah, just a stupid cat. Alright, so those are probably actual stairs. That doesn't open. Can't really look up. I really thought I got was gonna get Kate killed earlier. But I was not gonna kill the dog. Or harm the dog. Can't see out the windows. I don't want to turn that on yet. That's on immediately be like, hey, here we are. No way. Both sides are gone. Alright, so the only thing to do is to turn this on. Can I shimmy that? That does look shimmy wise. Oh, oh yeah, he's the one scared of heights. Don't look down. Why is he the one on the top of the lighthouse? Tampering with the seal is a federal offense.
You can't close it so the weather doesn't get to it. It's already been raining. You're about to tell Demet where three of you are. Ow. Don't look at the light. You're an idiot. Don't look at the light. I don't even know why you would turn that on. That's not gonna... That would not help you escape. Keys, lamp. So we got a few more. What's this? List of aliases. Oh, those are aliases. I thought those were uh, cohorts. So Dumet is Bell Camp and Brain and Day. Oh, I'm glad I went back and looked at that. Dear Mr. Monday, I am writing to inform you of an issue with plot R357P12-4 as the right permit. It is the name. It is my duty to inform you of a recent incident at the burial plot. Patch of soil has been disturbed and the headstone was moved from its base. I understand that this was the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday. Therefore, I appreciate that this news may be distressing. Unfortunately, on rare occasions, local wildlife may cause such disturbances. And we suspect that this may be the case of the incident. The matter of public safety is our duty to ensure plot maintenance of the plots of the high standard and we are swiftly corrected the disturbance. There may be no permanent damage. So the mother, grandmother, or mother is dead. Dug up your own mother. Boy who loves scary stories. You're a selfish monster. Always have been. Hey. Hey. Who are you? You literally just read the note. The lo lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow. He read scary stories all day and night. Oh, wow. He lived with his mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. Boy is tired or sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The boy, the book gave him an idea, revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. He, he, he's ripped out and colored over the face of the mother. He jumped out and shot and frightened the mother. Ah, he loves scary stories.
question is, where is Charlie Aaron? I thought that Dumont was with Mark. Right? Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Mark? I thought I lost you. You're not going to ask why he's down struggling to breathe? Good job, Charlie. He did something right for once. The only thing is you should have used the axe after you pushed him. You guys literally got a fire axe. Oh my god. We <laughs> escaped the lighthouse. Have you not picked up a single weapon? Do they see the boathouse? Why would the state police show up? Everyone knows where you are. You're on an island fully surrounded. Not an island in the ocean. What the hell? Oh. Hands where I can see them! All of you! The cop found the bodies of the ferryman and the girl. Oh. He killed them. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Sir, sir, behind you. The boat! Seriously, lady? There'd have been no way for that to have been thrown the way it was. I don't think grabbing the gun, I think that'd kill you. Normally I would be like, for sure get the weapon, but it's literally right at the dude's feet. I don't think there'd been any way to stop him from killing the police officer. Come on. This way. This should work. So that's interesting. Demet was able to kill 
starter cord. The little girl. There. Mm. Work, damn it. Hey, hey, Connie. Good to see you, boy. Come on. Come on. Just work. Got in a little close. This was the most interesting one of them all. 110%. Like, I, I can see doing multiple playthroughs of this. I'd love to try to save Jamie. I don't know how. Because I really felt like if I didn't do what I did, Kate would have died. Not all of us. I'm just glad I'm in one piece. <gasps> <gasps> Fuck. I had set down the controller. Dog was throwing water. Charlie is in the water. Watching. Yeah, she's probably gonna die. Well, you need to go back, pick up the dog, pick up Charlie, pick up Aaron. Mark made it off the boat alive, Kate made it off the boat alive. <laughs> Again, y'all weren't that far that you couldn't swim from that island. If that song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Is that the truck accident that causes little hope? And I looked up 
And there they were just in the middle of the flipping road. Waving their Try and crew manager eat safety of the mainland. Their hands and arms like a bunch of crazy. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Well, the dog made it sweet. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. You know what? I think I'm going to see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. Count on it. That's what I mean. The island is really freaking close. You don't know if Dumont is actually dead. Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. It's your brand. I I I'm trying to quit. So, there are tons of bodies on that island. Tons of bodies. Triple H, Monday, Henry Melchett, Grantham Dumont. things must come to an end but how good was the end for our crew four out of five most of them survived but sadly there was someone who didn't so rest in peace jamie the plug's been pulled and the lights are out i don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around what about those who survived has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. Erin showed everyone that though she might be easily spooked, she found immense courage when she needed it the most. We never use the inhaler. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. 
and the dog. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. Awesome. I swear he's like death. The mask is on shore. I don't think Dumont is dead. He was impelled, but it doesn't mean he was dead. Yeah. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Why do you say some instead of one? Now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? If you bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. All right. This has been fun. I definitely would like to do another playthrough of this. Yes, I have come to get your soul and leave your body and leave it cold. To drop the flesh from on your friend. There's a lot of people in this one. This is the most uh, in depth they've done with uh, Dark Picture series game yet. Now death, now death, if this is true, please give me time to... But yes, this was fun. Let me know what you think about the game in the comment sections. Like, comment, and subscribe. The Dark Picture series has been a very fun series. I definitely think I may do another playthrough of all of them. Maybe at least... Maybe two more playthroughs of all of them. I don't know. I'd like to see if we could save everybody. To see if we could kill everybody. I like how in this game they've, uh, they have advanced to make it where you can crawl, jump, move stuff around, like that's new to the series. Before it was literally just whatever you could do around the area. There were little points in this game what, uh, like I, I was amazed they never picked up a weapon. 
And then a few times where you could, it literally would have led to somebody's death, I felt. I am sad that Jamie died, though. She it was my favorite. There is so many people. As long as God in heaven shall dwell, my poor soul shall burn in hell. I said, Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over to another year? I said, I think it's awesome that the preview for the next game, it looked like we're going to be in space. I don't know how that's going to work out. That's going to be fun to see. Because all these games are connected. I'm gonna skip to the end because there's a lot. This is Commander Stafford. Oh, we gotta see the preview again. PM. After successfully rendezvousing with a curb disc marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts a high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal, and our technicians are restoring full functionality. <laughs> This is Thomas Carter. Something's wrong with Sims. She's trying to kill me. Uh, I think... Our next transmission will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. Directive 8020. Directive 8020. I wonder when that's, what year that's going to be. I think if it's going to come out in 2024 or 2025. But that was the devil in me. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Comment section, tell me what you think of the series. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next game. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Peace.